Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Blind LP of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, in the off time, I have uh, done some grinding in the skirmishes. Uh, not the skirmish, or these ones, but the uh, these, which I have found out that these are like the DLC ones, so they're hard and give good rewards. So I've done the scout one a few times, the sniper one a few times, and I've done the shock trooper one time. And these drop really good items, as you saw with Alicia and her rifle, and how much better it was. So I have three of those now on three different scouts. I could get another for one of my mechanics, but maybe later, I'm not sure. I did scout Shock Trooper once, because you can only get the unique once. And this one was a bitch, this one took a while to do. And each of these I needed a, like a guide to get through. Except for the scout one. The scout one I didn't. This guy when I forced my way through with my grenade launcher, essentially. Uh, and this one is easily the fastest, and gives you a really good sniper. Uh, and I'll definitely show you. And uh, So let's get there, and I wanted to wait. Yeah, so you can see all the numbers up there. Uh, I wanted to wait until I recorded to level up all my characters, spend the money. Um, because now we have over a million... Uh, money, which is pretty nice. And funny thing is, after last episode, I forgot to save before I uh, signed out of the game. So what happened was I had to redo the uh, the uh, princess map, the where she was kidnapped. And so I just did that right before recording this, and I got an A rank in I think two turns, and it was. Uh, I di essentially did the plan that I wanted to the first time, except this time I waited, and because I understood how the uh, things would move this time, and I wasn't stupid, so I was pretty happy about that. And I already went to the war cemetery uh, because I was I was planning on grinding it out, like being like, okay, I'm gonna save and reload, save scum it to make sure I got one, like an order, and I did on the first try, which was nice. I got a sniper support. Where I can use it to target a single enemy, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if I gain control of my, a sniper I have on the battlefield to do it, or if they just auto-target. I hope I get control, because my snipers are awesome. Uh, I'll actually show you right now before I go and level and stuff. So, Welkin, I'm not putting uh, any like super good stuff on him, like these, simply because I don't get to use them all that often out of the tank, but uh, Alicia has it, Ted has it, and Nancy has it. So the reason why I put them on Ted and Nancy is because these two like each other. I would have also put it on uh, Melville, because he likes, actually he likes Ted, but he doesn't like Nancy. Uh, but these two like each other, which is nice. Um, and I have on Rosie the, uh, the special one that I got for her, where it doesn't have as much range, or it has, doesn't have as much range, and its aim is worse, but its damage is drastically better. And because you're getting really close to people, I didn't think anything of it. And I also got a new, a new sniper, uh, too, I believe, because I have Marina. And Oscar and Marina is the main sniper of the uh, of the what you call it the uh, the challenge. So you can see right here. So the range is a lot higher and the aim is a lot better, but the damage is so much better. And the thing about the sniper is that its scope zooms so much that the effective range is a lot further than. Uh, than most other snipers, and because it zooms so much, you're almost guaranteed headshots, which is really amazing. And those headshots will kill a person, and it's really nice. Uh, okay, so now let's go to the training field because now I don't need to conserve my XP, and now I can level up my characters. Um, so first things first, let's get you up level you up. And while I have all this XP, might as well level you guys up. Good. Okay. Like 
So the potential of Lancers and Snipers went class up. Congratulations, Sniper! As of today, you are elite! Okay, they didn't really gain anything. I was hoping I'm hoping for like an ammo up, because right now they only have three shots per. Which is kinda like not the best. Um Yeah, before I uh, level up any of the elite classes, I want to uh, at least get uh, get shock trooper to elite as well. And I figured I would level up uh, Lancer and Engineer just to get some orders and because it just makes the classes themselves better so all units attack this was what uh, Maximilian was using so this order raises all a allies anti-personnel attack power which isn't bad and all units defend oh, okay that's good so let's do that and I'm fine with leaving that I'll level the Lancer up just to be equivalent to the Engineer but because those are my like least used classes, uh, although I do use an engineer in every battle, they don't attack people. They're always essentially behind the tank, in safety. Uh, the, the most I ever do is throw a grenade with them, and I don't believe the level affects the grenade. Okay. Yes, that's, that's what it is. So they got flamethrowers now, which is a pretty damn good weapon. So... Now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to try and, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and keep the scouts, uh, necessary XP at where the, uh, snipers and troopers is. Okay, so learned caution. This order protects one ally by reducing damage taken from enemy interception fire. Okay, so that is, like, say... You want a scout to go somewhere, but they have to cross like enemy lines, and they're gonna try and intercept you with fire. You use that prior to running them across. They're gonna take reduced damage, which is nice. Okay, so you can see that these two, because they are more advanced units, they cost a lot more, whereas scouts don't cost nearly as much. So I'm gonna uh, get the scout to a level at which the XPs are about. Uh, com com comparable to the trooper uh, and then I'll try and like keep all their levels going at about the same pace okay so now that one's at 34 uh, oh, god damn I want I like I want to use the left stick to do it but it's being real finicky Potential, that's good. So now, God. Okay. So now these guys are rocking pretty damn good. New order, neutralize. This order protects one ally from being counterattacked after firing. So that would actually be pretty useful because, say, you believe that they're going to be at low health after running up to someone and shooting them. Uh, and you're not sure if it, this will kill them, uh, you can essentially save them. Uh, I'm going to level up the Lancer and Engineer uh, just because they're, they're now less than half of the other units. A damage boost. This order raises one ally's anti-tank attack power. That's not bad. Okay, so Engineers are relatively low cost, so I'll... Uh, I'll level them up. And I'm guessing they're low cost because like they don't really have combat use. Because they use the same weapons as scouts, but their aim is a lot like less. Like they're not as accurate with their guns. Like this one's level nine is equivalent to a Lancer's level ten. It's gonna feel so good just being like going into these battles with no uh greatly raises one ally's anti-tank attack power because it it's gonna feel so good going into these maps with like oh yeah i can just like everything i have is so much better 
and this, this really shows a lot about me as a gamer. Like, I, pre I prefer, personally, to, uh, to demolish people. Like, I will abuse DLC and anything I can get to, uh, just take care of any, uh, grinding or whatnot. Like, there are certain games where they, where you can get, like, a DLC weapon, and it's a really good weapon. Uh, and I, I'll use that right from the get-go, because I don't care. I, I love to one-hit early game bosses. Uh, but then there are other DLCs like this where they give you a challenge, uh, but by going through it, which is tough, you get a really good reward, and subsequent tries are now easier because you have, like, the reward. Um, so the max level of a, of a unit, I believe, is 20. So, I'm not sure if off-screen I'll just, uh, I'll just grind and get a lot more XP and do my best to get enough for each unit to be max level. Um, might as well put it in there. But, as we are right now, uh, almost all of our units are eluded, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna put this into the scouts because they're easily my most like valued units. So now I'm at zero zero or zero XP. Now we can go to Castlefront Street because I want to see if I can buy anything here for uh, yeah, at least. And you will notice that they were, uh, in one of the cutscenes, I believe they're talking about how they're stopping the, uh, like, newspapers and whatnot from putting forward stuff about the princess's, uh, the princess's kidnapping. And you might have noticed that at the bottom it was Princess Cap Kidnapping Foiled, because she's not, uh, she, she doesn't care about the government, uh, and what they want. So let's purchase that. <laughs> And you can now tell where it's essentially saying, yeah, you're at a point where you should just have 50,000 to drop. I have a lot more than that because DLC. But I do like DLC things, even it, bought or not. Like DLC weapons, I like. I don't, uh, when it's a weapon, I usually only try and get like the main character stuff. Because I don't want my entire party to be outfitted super, like, crap a lot. Um, um, I'll just buy both. Uh, I'm not doing added effect yet. Um, nope, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so this is flamethrower. And that puts HP down. But this is more damage. Chances are, I'm going to be using it for damage, so might as well just go in it like that. And they're equivalent ones, and more, better grenades, that's good. Because I do use my grenade launcher a bit. Okay, uniform. Ugh, feels so good to be able to do this. Take less damage stuff. And I did, uh, buy some, uh, some of, like, the modules for the tank and rearranged them. I'm not sure if my tank is better now or not, but with this, it's, feels a lot better. Uh, this. About the site upgrade. But once again, I jenged it to, like, perfection. So this is, so, I need a 4x4 four four block. But unfortunately, I don't feel like doing that right now. Because that would just... I've already been using a lot of time in menus and whatnot. We're almost 15 minutes in. I haven't even shown anything off. 
Um, so let's leave. New episode, new report, personnel tab, weaponry tab. Uh, I'm going to save right here. That way I don't uh, forget. Yeah, I had uh, multiple saves of this chapter because I was save scumming it. Okay, so let's uh, go through the R&R. &R, uh, because it's... Uh, who, who doesn't like seeing some relaxation? Figured this has got to be big if they put out an emergency call, right? Oh, back into the field again? Militia ever heard of time off? I'm sorry to have called you here so early. I had news for Squad 7 of a pressing nature. The higher-ups were watching, both during your recovery of the Princess and elsewhere. In recognition of those accomplishments, you and I are being granted special leave. Ooh! That's great news. Are you serious? Music to my ears. How wonderful. There's more. We've been granted access to a stretch of shoreline owned by House Randgreeze. House Randgreeze owns a stretch of shoreline? In other words, our orders are to cut loose and relax on a posh private beach. No way. That princess really knows how to up the morale, don't she? The whole place to ourselves. Talk about luxury. Hey, but what should I do? I don't own a swimsuit. Then come on, let's go shopping. I'll pick out something nice for you. Uh, okay. Wow, it's been years, huh? This should be fun, though, East. Yes. Very. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. You've earned this break. Enjoy it. Dismissed. Cool. Going to the beach. Gonna see some swimsuits. Because every Japanese game needs some fan service. It's not Japanese otherwise. Wow. You can really tell this is a private beach. It's beautiful. The water's so blue. There's not many places this well preserved around anymore. <gasps> Look at those white wings. Hi, Welkin. <sighs> this, uh, swimsuit was Rosie's idea. Really, I tried to tell her no. I just... I wasn't sure I could pull it off. Um... What do you think? Do I look okay? Uh, mm, mm, it's great, actually. Great? You mean it? Huh? Uh, yeah. That is... You're, you're as pretty as a white-winged gull. I look like a seagull? Yeah. Those wings are just gorgeous. Okay, so... That was a compliment? You bet it was. A white-winged gull is just about my favorite bird. Okay. Then thanks, Welkin. Someone's taking this private beach thing a little too literally. It's already hot enough as it is. Rosie! Don't try to pretend. You picked the raciest suit just for the lieutenant. The nervous some girls. Rosie, you're the one who told me to get Ooh. it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's going in the water. <laughs> Okay, okay. Don't lose your top. Hey. <laughs> hey, Elks. Oh, hey, Ys. You having fun? I am. Been a while since we've come to the beach, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Weren't you afraid of the water, Ys? I remember you clinging to that floaty porcavian. We tried to drag you out, and you started bawling. Welkin, I was barely a toddler then. <laughs> right, sorry. You must be a great swimmer by now. That's... none of your business. Yeah. Welkin is so bad at dealing with people that he always has to default to animals. <laughs> 
It's like, oh, oh, I can't, I can't even. Welks. Here goes, Welkin. Ah. And down goes the boss. Man, those kids got too much energy. <laughs> You're sounding like an old man, Largo. What? I ain't that old. Oh, no. Then why did you just sound like my grandfather, hmm? Yeah, yeah. You sure you don't want to go for a swim? I thought you'd like that. Nobody wants to see me running around in a skimpy suit like those kids. Not at my age. Whatever you say, Granny. You're no better than I am, are you? You haven't changed a bit since the day you enlisted. You still can't recognize a joke. And you still got a mouth on you. I think I'd kill over if that changed. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely compliment. Come to think of it, didn't we all go to the beach just after we enlisted? Yes, we had a big seashell hunt competition. I don't think you found a single one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> then Frederick winds up soaked to the bone. Margo. No Frederick stories. Oh. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. No. I should apologize. I'm going for a little walk. Okay, so there's some sad past. I'm guessing Frederick died in the first year of war. And was probably like her lover or something like that, or like her fiance. East! Over here! Pass the ball over here! Isara! Nail him! Go! Okay. Blank. Hans, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she nailed the pig. All by yourself, huh? Why don't you go join them? Nah, that's not my thing. Mm-hmm. Always have to play it cool, huh? Hmm. <laughs> so what, did your journalist duties call you to the beach, or are you just bored? Got me there. If I'm spending a day at the beach, I'd rather be with my boyfriend. Oh ho ho! You got yourself a boy, do ya? Color me jealous. Right? But there's times when I feel envious of you all, too. I interviewed a good chunk of Galia's army, but I didn't see any other units like yours. True comrades. The bond you guys have is really a cut above the rest. Hmm over there already they're all waiting for you well I could take pity on them and it's not like chatting with an old married lady is any fun <laughs> you're a piece of work all right guys make room for me oh a promising contender joins the fray Rosie Think you could pair up with Isara? What? Sure, fine. Isara, pull your weight or you're swimming. Okay, I'll do my best, Rosie. All right, throw the ball, Isara. Okay. God, don't hit me with it. You're supposed to throw it that way. Rosie, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can now you can tell like okay Rosie doesn't really dislike her at this point in time. Okay, so let's save uh, one last time. We're running at 25. There's a map right there, but that seems like a pretty big one. So what might happen is I might do these, and then I'll actually show you the sniper challenge. 
possibly, because it's a relatively fast one, and I, I've done it several times. We've been given orders for our next mission. The militia is taking back the city of Thousand. Thousands, that big industrial city with all those ragnite mines, right? Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, it'll be a shot in the arm to Gallia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? The militia will break up into squads and set up a perimeter around the city. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here, look at this. An armored rail vehicle? Right. They installed it to defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. Yeah, okay, so we destroy it. Any idea how we take on a beast like that? Gonna take a lot more than a pack of soldiers marching at it to do that, boss. Don't worry. We've got some hefty support on this one. Support? Like who? You know that Darksons from Empire-held areas have been brought there, right? I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnite mines and weapons factories. According to Captain Barat, one of the men in the camps is acting as our agent. Here I get my hopes up and it's just some dark hair? Got any more great news? What do you mean by that? Oh, what happened to all the niceness that was going on in, in the at the beach? Hmm. I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All dark sins are different. Sure could have fooled me. I couldn't tell you dark hair's apart if I tried. I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. No, you just didn't. Just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say work with the Darksin, we do. That said, I ain't making any promises if this guy turns out to be useless. Here. Well, we can't know for sure until we meet him, but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on Thousand at first light. The attack begins at sundown. Man, that, that was such like a weird juxtaposition between the the beach and this. Like, wh why did Rosie turn into such a bitch all of a sudden? Because it was optional? Okay, so this one is the, the, at the concentration camp. Oh, this stench is unbearable. Please, some food, sir. Even water would... Ugh! Keep your distance. Sumptuous, dark-haired, filthy. Where is the one responsible for this hovel? You rang? I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. Folks from other camps working D sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. That's where they handle Ragnite refinery. Sure the toxic exhaust's being handled right? Hmm. <laughs> That's no concern of yours or mine. You animals need only be silent and obey. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work stops getting done. That doesn't help you much, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? <laughs> Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember, no one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. I'm sure a lot of people actually would. Like themselves and their families. And I'm gonna totally murder you. Because you're an asshole. Okay. So we're running at... Uh, 30... This map's probably going to take a decent amount of time. Uh, because just from the look of it, it looks like a pretty big map. So, what I, in fact, am going to do is I'm going to show you my grinding. I don't need... Uh, I don't need the... Uh, whatchamacallit anymore, the sniper rifle. So, we can just go through this, I'll show it to you. We're going to both stand, have Galleon snipers challenge you. 
Imperials have spread throughout the area. We'll enter from this position and make use of us snipers to clear them out. The goal of this operation is to defeat all Imperial units or keep them from entering the target area for eight turns. If they make it to their main camp, it's over. Don't let that happen. Okay, so what I always do is use her because she has one where uh, if she goes up into a roost, which you can see in this tie box right there, uh, she gets better, but not that I need it. And then the guide tells you to pick Rosie, but I'm not sure if using her new uh, machine gun, if she's capable of doing it, uh, doing what I need her to do. But I'm going to try anyway. So uh, I'm going to deploy. And I'm hoping that everything goes as well as I want it to. Okay, we'll cut off here, cut off completely here at Terrestrial Island. So much the better, taking out enemies from far is what we do. Some enemies may be hidden, there are times when waiting, when waiting is the best strategy. Take them out one by one. Oh, a fox, it's so cute. Can I go pet it? I'll keep it brief. No, ah, I see. In that case, we end this now. So to get an A rank in this mission, you need to do it in three turns. So my turn, their turn, uh, three times. So first step, do this. New so you, you wait until they've done that. Okay, so this should be fine. So, I set her up here as an intercept point, and I think upgrading the units actually upgraded their movement, but that's fine. So, okay, I have no idea what that potential is, because uh, I didn't check like the upgrade potentials. So, uh, what I'm really hoping is, because I didn't actually save before I chose this turn, I'm actually going to play it safe. So this is the really good sniper. This is all the way, all the way zoomed out, all the way zoomed in. I can't. I literally can't miss his head. And the reason why I defaulted to him to kill is because I had to kill him anyway. But because that trooper might duck, he might duck my bullet, and I need to kill him anyway. So what I don't I don't usually do this, but I'm doing it for the sake of. Uh, uh, just for the sake of this, is I'm going to save Scum, essentially. Where I do a save, and if I miss, I can reload from this point instead of having to redo the entire mission. So I have no idea what that does. But I'm guessing it has something to do with, like, oh, if the person is alone, then, uh, they, uh, then they're good. So, I've taken out both of those people, and now I have one more bullet, and another move after this one, and uh, without the uh, sniper rifle, this shot is a little bit harder, uh, but because you can zoom in so much, you can easily see their head. Uh, uh, that one, if you miss it, you can try on a, a, like, in one turn or whatnot. But this part is really important, because I have zero ammo right now, so I need to get back into the base and then crouch here. I need to crouch essentially nearly in the middle, because if I crouch on that one, or on like the edge of it, someone's going to come up and be shooting over the uh, pylon things. And it's going to kind of fuck with everything. So, now I have one more move, and with that I call Alicia, because she's going to have a use and give me another move afterwards. And Rosie is where she is, because she's going to be intercepting people trying to run to the base. And hopefully she'll be able to kill them. But it doesn't look like her range is actually far enough to be able to hit them, which is bad because they just won. So, that means I do have to go with my secondary strategy. So I need to go, I need to retry from 
deployment, which kind of sucks because, you know, I have to redo essentially my first turn's things. Uh, but I do also need the turns. So I'm going to use Alicia here, then Marina there, and deploy. And it should be fine. Yeah. And the reason why I use uh, Alicia or Rosie first is because if I don't, then Marina is going to be shot as she goes up to the uh, okay. point. Enemy sighted. Enemy unit spotted. And she needs to be in like a spot that that's like this good, because it has. Uh, she can see essentially from everywhere. I'm gonna go here and I'm not worried because that guy's gonna die soon anyway. But I am going to save Scum because this time I'm gonna try and get rid of him first. So I'm going to save there. And before I forget anything to make sure I'm using my turns correctly, uh, I am going to use Rosie. But I'm hoping that maybe with her, uh, Target sighted. with her flamethrower, she might be able to do what I want easier. Okay, so took that guy out. That, that's possibly the simplest part of this. So, took him out because he was literally right next to the point, and if I didn't take him out, he would have just run in and won. I take this guy out because he is able to shoot Alicia. Sweet dreams. Uh, and probably kill her. And I shoot the sniper at the far end because he is also able to uh, shoot Alicia. So by doing this, I'm essentially taking Alicia out of any sniper's firing range except for the one... Uh, where? The... Oh, it's just one... I guess I'll just fire at his chest because I, for some reason I couldn't figure out where his head was, even though it was that silver part. So, descend without moving. Go over here. So the only sniper that can hit Alicia is that one right there. The one right to the right of the tree. I'm not worried about that. So, end current phase, and hopefully this time everything goes good. It should. I don't know. Because her range is, is definitely further than, uh, yeah. The, the goal of this is usually for uh, that scout to die to her interception fire. But it's not the biggest loss if uh, he doesn't. See, that's actually pretty fucking bad because that's never happened to me before. Which really sucks, because that throws kind of most of my things out of whack. Um, I, I'm sorry, guys, that this isn't going nearly as well as like any of my other attempts at this. Because all my other ones went off essentially without a hitch. But I'm not going to be able to A-rank this, which kind of sucks. don't do this because uh, the goal uh, well that's actually fine because now I know that I can do that it actually helps but this is the unique guy that I need to kill to get the sniper rifle but you also need to kill him to finish the mission as well so it's kind of a twofer now ideally you would want to use Rosie on the um, on the shelf over there simply because uh, without this rifle because you would 
pick Alicia, she would run over there. She, it's easier to just shoot them because they uh, scouts hold the gun higher. Uh, then take another turn, kill this guy, and then run her over here so there are two people intercepting. But unfortunately, she was taken out, and I'm going to have to uh, use a turn to uh, take out the shock trooper. Uh, I'll have to... Okay, so I'm going to hope that the sniper doesn't move. So, this next turn, I'm gonna essentially be hoping that the sniper doesn't move. Or, I'm just going to leave Marina up here to take out all of them. To take out this scout, because that guy can move far and he won't be intercept killed. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, although, she only has one ammo. So, uh, I'm actually going to do is take her out down. Crouch her in an area in which she does have the movement or the ability to shoot this sniper. And then I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna end turn because I used all of them. Normally I would bring in Largo to get me another turn after this. But unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, uh, the whatchamacall. I, I'm, for some reason, I'm forgetting the word, and this is actually a very bad place, because I forgot about that guy. So he might actually just ruin my entire plan. Um... No, he didn't. Okay. So this is absolutely terrible. I'm on. Just take that guy out. four turns, and I believe I have three people left, so I might still be able to eke out a A rank, depending on how I handle this. Take out that guy. Usually I would use Alicia or Rosie to take her out, but because there are only two people left, uh, one is actually slightly hidden. And I have two shots. Uh, I would do it a little bit differently. So, right here is a person. And take him out. And now I can end my turn. And that's the last guy right over there. But I want to be very sure that he doesn't dodge. And I don't lose my A rank. Because A rank means... Uh, more XP. The better the rank, the better XP you get. So, I save because it's a small target and the guy might dodge it. <clears throat> and I don't know where the last person is. So, I think I just lost my A rank. And I think I know exactly where the person is that I'm missing. Because it's that person right there. Uh, no. Oh my god, I just wasted it so hard. <sighs> god damn it. Okay. I'm sorry guys, this has just been like the... Like I just got unlucky with Alicia getting taken out at that point. Yeah. See, there's... There's that guy in the grass right there, and you're supposed to, after, like, you put the person there and they crossfire and intercept the lava, you're supposed to use another, you're supposed to use a turn to grenade them out, end turn immediately, 
and then as they move to go up around, uh, they're actually intercepted uh, from the people on the cliff. So we're gonna get a B rank, which kinda sucks. But, eat grenade, fucker. Ugh. So, finished it. Oh, we got an A rank. Cool. So, do that exact same thing, guys. Fuck ups and all. So, I just got a couple more achievements. Those aren't popping up. Uh, medal of Wasting in the Audience Hall for Merit in Combat. So, I'm guessing it was kill a certain amount of enemies. Because uh, I'm guessing the. Uh, I'm guessing the whatchamacallums, the achievements in Steam are almost um, mirrored in the game in terms of medals. Sort of like what Disgaea did with the trophies. Except, except they did uh, more. Uh, like in Disgaea, they literally just took the PlayStation trophies and put it in game, which is I liked a lot. So Bronze Arms of Gallia. And the Order of the Holy Lance. Okay. So I just wanted to show the sniper thing because that's the... Uh, that's the map that I use to grind out because it gives me every A rank I get 61,000 XP. So like, it, it essentially gets me a level in my classes. Up to a certain point, I guess. Each one. Uh, and I guess I'll just put up Lancer. Because, why not? Um, and then with the remaining, I'll put it in the scout. Because it's always good to... Scout XP. And you can see that I got a lot of money. I'm back over a million. Because it, it, it really just pumps you full of money. That uh that mission. Well all the all the DLC ones. And maybe on some other episode I'll show me completing the scout challenge with the upgraded scout and whatnot. Um so let's go to decorations because I wanna know what they are. So these I'll say new because I didn't look at it before, because I had to redo it, as I said at the beginning of this. So, given to exemplary, given to soldier performed exceptionally as defeating an elite, which we've done several times. Uh, okay, so we just got this one, uh, defeated more than 250 enemies in defense of their homeland, so 250. Uh, given to soldier wounded, so, uh, we just rescued someone, I'm guessing, uh, based on, it presented to a squad shown to have earned victory with exceptional speed. So, I'm guessing that was get an A rank, or like, or, uh, do a mission, like, a lot faster than, like, the average or something like that. It's probably the A rank. So, let's get that episode select, and I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save over Marina's challenge. And with this, I'm gonna end here, because we're just about at the 50 mark. And I'm definitely not starting this mission at 50, because I'm not going to be able to finish it in like 5 minutes. So, uh, I hope you guys join me for the next episode of the Valkyria Chronicles Blind LP. So, uh, Buddy Bison signing out, and I hope you all have a very nice day.